Hello Newcastle fans, TV, I've just literally got in from Newcastle United, two Wolves nil. Uh, there will be a uh, match experience coming up, the highlights have also coming up on the channel and also all the fan cams as well. It's quarter to 12, I'm tired, I'm going to be up all night doing videos of course, but right, this is why you do YouTube for. Uh, so we won 2 nil against Wolves, have a look at the lineup. Um, we've seen, it uh, wasn't massive changes, we've seen Murphy and Lazar come in for the debuts, which we would expect it. Darlow will come in, Hanley and Clark at centre-back, Yedlin making his full debut at right-back. Um, I was slightly disappointed not to see Mitrovic have any uh, run-outs tonight, but maybe he's got them in mind for, obviously, the weekend game, because obviously we know that's a bigger game. But I did see in the preview that Newcastle couldn't really suffer another defeat against Wolves. So, Newcastle fans, what I want you all to do is go back on the 2-0 defeat that we had on this channel and give the Wolf fans, Wolves fans some stick, because they give us stick. For obviously um, having the 2 0 defeat, so don't you worry, I'll be going on there after this. Um, but just a few things I want to talk about. Um, obviously, the goals, but before the goals, after a, a stress that Carl Dolo made an outstanding one on one save, stopped, it going, stopped Newcastle from going 1 0 down. I think that was crucial, very, very crucial. Carl Dolo also later on in the game, oh, there's one of my cats, also later on in the game as well. Another great save as well, I think it was Ola John as well, uh, with, with they had a great build-up play. But Carl Dolo, brilliant, very commanding, very dominant. He, he just he just looks, Newcastle looks so reassured with Dolo rather than Sells. But we know that Rafa is going to go for shells, Sells. Sorry. Um, the two centre-backs powering, we'll come on to the goals in a minute. The two centre-backs powering, I thought Grant Hanley had another outstanding game. Very leadership, winning everything in the air. Even when they brought on the Icelandic strike in the second half, you know, uh, Bad Voss and Hanny were still winning the challenges. Uh, Clark, a little bit of scares, but you've done all right. Uh, Yedlin on the other side, especially second half, looked brilliantly going forward. Pace had it's got us unreal. Lazar on the left side looked a little bit shaky, but he grew in confidence in the game. Midfield, callback was... It was kind of strange how Rafa set it up because Colbert was more attacking than what Shelby was. Shelby wasn't picking the ball up as much off the defenders as he was on Saturday. And Newcastle were clearly using the wings this time for Gufran especially. And obviously later on we've seen Atsu come on as well. Um, so Richie again, he got his goal but Newcastle were targeting the wins that deliberately. And a couple of long balls but n not too many. You know, they're mixing it up a little bit. The goals come from Richie on the right-hand side, which I'm sure many of us have seen now. And then Gufran, what a fucking goal that was. Johan Gufran, another fucking volley. This time with his left foot. It comes to the edge of the box. Diarmid just leaves it. He must have got the shout. And then just pings it. Two goals in two minutes from Newcastle. An outstanding volley. No matter where, you, where which part, where, where, whoever you support, I can't even get my words out. I'm that tired. Um, but it was pretty comfortable, I have to say, for Newcastle. It was... Wolves didn't really offer much. They looked so much better on Saturday. They, looked, they were clearly the better side on Saturday because Newcastle were just shot in Wolves. Wolves this time around were really, really poor. A couple of chances. I think, like I said earlier on in the video, that Darlow save when it was nil-nil was crucial when he saved that because Newcastle went a few minutes later and scored two in two, two minutes. And it was pretty easy from there on in, I have to say. Um, a, couple of, a couple of chances throughout the second half, you know. Like I said, I was a little bit disappointed not to see Mutovic start. Uh, we've seen Perez come on second half. We've seen Atto had a cameo appearance as well. But I'm happy Lazar. Lazar looks so much better going forward than Dummett, but kind of knew that as well. But all in all, I think going into the next round, um, I put a poll out on Twitter. Who would you, who would you prefer? Uh, <laughs> Most of you said Sunderland. I would like to see Sunderland in the next round, personally. Uh, no, I don't want them to be QPR, but if I had to put them out in the next round, I will take that. Of course you would. Uh, delighted, 2 0 win. We'll move on. Uh, like I said, keep an eye out for the fan cams, the highlights, and the match experience as well. I've got coming up as well. But I know this is quite brief. It's under five minutes now. Um, and thank you, a oh, big shout out to everybody who's seen me as well um, in the stadium, outside the stadium. Uh, I had to get two buses home tonight, and I hate getting public transport. Whoever stopped me from getting on the bus and saying hello, thank you, and also at the Metro Centre as well. So I was all over. But I. But that's it. Give the video a like. Get in, we're in the next round. See you later.